Okay, a pretty quick and easy one today. Well, hopefully easy. Uh, mainly just to do it because this may be about my last opportunity. Uh, I'm giving this shotgun to one of my sons and getting it set up for him. So before I give it to him here in the next week or two, I figured I'd get a little video of it and uh, just babble on about shotguns some. I'm not a shotgun guy. I much prefer a carbine, but that doesn't mean a shotgun is incapable. Uh, I like the way Clint Smith put it. He says a shotgun is an expert weapon, uh, not an amateur's weapon. It's just, it's hard to describe. I heard one guy say that it was like a bad mistress. It's really heavy. It's loud. It's a pain to be around. And it's always wanting to be fed. That, that's kind of, that sums up what a 12 gauge is. So, uh, I've got a few different shell variations here left to right. We got a Remington double odd buck, 1325 feet per second. Federal double odd buck, it doesn't list a uh, velocity. But one nice thing about being an old fart and catching deals as they come along, when was the last time you saw a box of Federal H132 double odd buck? for $3.99. Then we've got Winchester, double odd buck, plated at 1,450 feet per second, then two different versions of Winchester slugs. They're both one ounce slugs in the gray case and the red both. The difference is the gray is 1,200 feet per second and the red case shell is 1,600 feet per second. Allegedly, I haven't clocked them. Uh, but the energy levels are just crazy. You know, an AR will give you 1,100-ish, maybe 1,200 if you're pushing it you know, out of a 16-inch barrel. Your typical buckshot is running 16, maybe 1,700 foot-pounds out of a 12-gauge. <coughs> so you're hitting someone with nine, you know, 32 caliber bullets with a couple of hundred foot pounds each, that, that's why it works. The slugs, I actually calculated those up before I turned on the camera. The one ounce at 1200 feet per second, you're looking right at 1400 foot pounds of energy. And the 1600 foot per second slug in the red, you're looking right at 2470 feet per, uh, sorry, foot pounds of energy. That is a lot of energy. Uh, coming out with every pull of the trigger. So let's go ahead and uh, just run a few through it. If you hear me rattling as I walk around, I've just got a dump pouch on that I've got a box of bird shot in. Uh, it's just that federal as in the brown box there. A big part of this is sighting in that red dot. I haven't had a red dot on this gun. I just put it on there for him. Yow. Keep forgetting the earth is so crooked around here. There we go. This is kind of a combination pattern the shotgun and sight in the red dot or rough sight in the red dot. Initially with just bird shot. I went ahead and sprayed the targets clean and see how he does. We're right at 10 yards here, maybe 11. So, well, before I get into all that, let me show you the gun itself. It's a standard Mossberg 930 SPX. Zoom out where you can see it. I added a side saddle, a Holosun HS503. We'll see if I like it. I like Holosuns, but I've never tried the 503. A different safety lever. It has that raised shelf on it. 
<coughs> excuse me, makes it a little more positive. I've shot it a little bit with that and I actually really like that thing. Also, if you look carefully, you can see the stock doesn't fit exactly as it did. I actually carefully reduced the length on that stock. You can't reduce it much because the gas recoil system is back in there. But I reduced it a little bit because the 930 has ridiculous length of pole. It's like 14 inches. It's just silly. So you can see it's a little modified. And on the other side, just a Velcro shot shell holder. Again, that's one of the big issues with the shotgun is keeping it fed. So let's go ahead and put some on there. Let me zoom in. And when you see the patterns, I mentioned this before on that silhouette target, it is not a regular full-size silhouette target. So bear that in mind. A regular silhouette is 18 by 24 inches. This is 12 by, I think, 16. Uh, if you don't count the little head box. So it's less than half the surface area of a regular silhouette. So if the pattern comes close to filling it up, keep that in mind. It is not a regular silhouette. So let's get the caps off the red dot so we can adjust the zero if need be. And what are the odds of not needing to? Oh, good Lord. There we go. I do like the reticle in this red dot. That's why I chose it. It has the option of a... And you probably won't be able to make this out. No. You can have it with the circle dot or with just a plain old dot. Yeah. Okay. But, well, you big momo. Okay, so going with the circle dot reticle. It's a 65 MOA circle with the red dot in the middle of it. <coughs> At 10 yards, it covers up probably 75% of the silhouette left to right. That's pretty close. So at 10 yards, again, that target's 12 inches wide. We're getting a eight inch spread, give or take. And, like a genius, I don't know which way is left and right on this. One more. There we go. Let's take him up. Interesting. Okay. Getting close. Let me move them some more. Stick with the silhouette again. Well, let's go for that little eight inch plate. At this range, that circle just almost exactly covers that eight inch plate. Yeah, these shells are not wanting to cycle. These are light birdshot loads. It doesn't like them. So, A 
Let's go with some of the Federal double aught buck. It should do better with that. One thing I didn't mention changing on this gun was I also put an Oregon Gunworks Marine Spacer tube. That helps it cycle with light loads, like those extreme light federal loads I was just trying. It still had some problems, about every other shot it would hang up. But this is meant as a defensive gun. It's not meant for light bird shot. So let's try that again. I'll go back to the Silhouette. Okay. So, yeah. We'll go to that plate on the left hanging on that rack there. That's an 8 inch plate, and that circle is covering right at 7 of the 8 inches of. The <laughs> <laughs> Never underestimate buckshot. Go to that right hand 8 inch plate. There we go. I do believe that'll work. So, I was a little concerned about this low dollar eBay shell holder. I do have some S-Tacs on order for it because I like the idea, but they haven't come in yet. But So far, I am pretty darn happy with this thing. I've always liked the gun. I've had it for about seven years, but I've never been really a shotgun guy, and I'm hoping my son will get better use out of it than I have.